Hi, Shandosh. So, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Prakash. Uh, so, let me introduce myself. Myself, Prakash, and I have 10 plus years of experience as a Java developer. So, I am working uh, in this company since 10 years and uh, I have uh, played as a uh, team lead and uh, team management and I used to hire the people. So, uh, that's about myself and uh, can you please uh, introduce yourself? Uh, hi Prakash, uh, this is Asantosh. I have uh, total 4 plus years of experience in Java developer. I was working on last project, uh, General Insurance. Uh, in this project, main objective is uh, creating to the different files based on the customer requirement. Uh, once creating to the files, you can send it to the destination location. Uh, this is a part of the producer size. Uh, one of the Apache Kafka is a messaging tool. Uh, just like as a broker, mainly using for the Apache Kafka. Uh, temporary storing purpose using to the Apache Kafka in this files. After consuming the so you can subscribe to the Apache Kafka. Um, you can, uh, get new alerts from the consumer side. So this is the overall project, main objective of this project. In this project, I was involving the MySQL as a Java 1.8 and uh, Spring Boot with the RESTful web services and uh, database as a MySQL. Okay, so can we, uh, can I take uh, quickly the uh, technical interview questions? Okay, sure. Okay, what are the Java 8 features? Uh, Java 8 features, uh, uh, Lambda, uh, Lambda streams, uh, uh, predicate function, supplier, consumer, uh, uh, double colon operator, and those. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, what is the Lambda or Lambda function? Uh, lambda function is nothing but uh, hello. I don't know. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, lambda function is nothing but uh, it has a just uh, nameless function. It has a anonymous function. Uh, it does not have any name. Uh, it, it does not have any uh, method uh, namele, nameless function. Uh, it, it is just like as the anonymous function. Mainly using for the uh, lambda expression is uh, a method argument uh, can providing to the method arguments from the lambda expressions. So in the from in my project too, from the end points level, I was using to the lambda expression from the term method argument. I am using to the lambda expressions. Uh, this is the main advantage from the lambda expression. Okay. Uh, right. So what is the difference between uh, map and flat map. Um, flat map, flat map, right? Yes, so difference between map and flat map. Uh, Shandos, can you hear me? Yes, yes, Prakash. Yeah, can you please explain the answer to that? Yeah, sure. Uh, map is nothing but uh, the function passed to the map operation, it returns the single value. And uh, coming to the flat map, uh, the function you pass the you pass to flat map operation, it returns to the binary number of that value. So it can be written binary number of the values. And uh, coming to the map, one to one mapping occurs in map. And uh, coming to the flat map, one to many uh, mapping occurs in flat map. Uh, and also uh, in the map, uh, it produces it produces a stream of value. And uh, coming to the flat map, it produces the um, stream of stream value in the flat map. And uh, one more main, uh, one more point is uh, map is used only for the transformation and the flat map is used for the both uh, transformation and uh, uh, mapping. Um, these are all the main uh, important points for the um, map and flat map. Okay, fine. Okay, difference between spring versus spring wood. 
Yeah, uh, Spring uh, Spring is mainly uh, it will it will works based on the dependence injection based on the framework, and uh, Spring Boot is uh, it will be works auto configuration based on the framework. Uh, the main advantage is Spring and Spring Boot. Uh, coming to the Spring, um, all the dependencies can be developer can be download and install install to the all the dependencies from the Spring side. And coming to the Spring Boot, um, there is you no know, that facility from the developer can be download. Install by default uh, coming to the uh, starter uh, starter concept coming to the Spring Boot, all the dependencies can be internally downloading. Uh, it can be uh, by, um, we can start that application. We can choose the whatever requirements or uh, dependencies. We can select that uh, dependencies. It by default it's still downloading all the dependencies. Uh, and also um, coming to the Spring uh, Tomcat server is. Uh, uh, developer can be download and install to the Tomcat server in the, from that uh, uh, Spring. And uh, coming to the Spring Boot, um, Tomcat server by default, Tomcat server is available from that uh, Spring Boot. That is the main advantage from the Spring Boot. And also, come Spring Boot, um, it will be works uh, in memory database. H2 database is available uh, by default in, uh, in the Spring Boot. Uh, we can use under throw, uh, in, in that purpose using to the Spring Boot. And coming to the uh, Spring, there is no in memory database is available. Uh, coming to the Spring, uh, these are all the main advantages uh, from that uh, Spring and uh, Spring Boot. Uh, yes, Yeah, fine. Can you tell me the intermediate the operator and the terminal operator and the difference among them? Uh, intermediate operator and the terminal operator. Uh, intermediate intermediate operations uh, it, it returns the stream uh, it returns the stream it can be chained uh, all that all intermediate operations can be chained it, it, it does not have uh, operations does not have uh, its terminal operator uh, for example uh, filter map uh, flat map and uh, distant uh, leap uh, these are all the examples from that uh, all the intermediate operations uh, coming to the terminal operators uh, it can be written to the uh, non stream uh, it, terminal operations can be cannot be chained it not possible to the connecting one uh, one terminal to another terminal it cannot be possible to the chained um, for example from the uh, terminal operations uh, for each uh, two are a collect uh, uh, minimum maximum these are all the examples from the uh, terminal operations okay what is the accurate string Accurate, accurate is nothing but uh, just monitoring purpose using to the uh, accurate from the spring board. Uh, what are the spring scopes? Yeah, uh, spring sp scopes. Yeah, there are the five types of the scopes is available from that uh, spring. Uh, single tone or uh, prototype uh, request system global system these are all the four five types of the scopes is available from available from the uh, spring okay what is the default uh, spring scope uh, default is uh, single turn okay uh, uh, what is the dependency injection uh, dependency injection is nothing but uh, Injecting to the one uh, one object into another object is nothing but uh, dependence injection. Uh, there are the two types of the dependencies. Uh, dependency injection is available. Uh, setter injection and the constructor injection. Uh, okay. So what is the port number will be used in Spring Boot? Uh, Spring Boot. Uh, it will be works by default eight zero eight zero. It will be works in that. Uh, Port number. Okay, and the server name? Uh, Tomcat server. Uh, instead of Tomcat, I want to work on other server like uh, Jetty, Underdo. How you will configure it? Yeah, uh, by default in Spring Boot, uh, Tomcat server is running. Uh, instead of Tomcat server, you can configure to the other uh, server like. Uh, um, 
go to the uh, pom.xml uh, instead of tomcat server uh, dependency we can provide to the uh, another uh, other server we can main uh, exclusions purpose exclusions we can give to the exclusions from the tomcat server we can add to the another server from that pom.xml Okay, uh, total you have four years of experience, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, okay, but to run the Spring Boot, what are the minimum dependencies required? Uh, to run the Spring Boot, uh, Spring Boot project, uh, minimum dependencies required, uh, Spring Web is uh, required, minimum one dependency is required, it will be run uh, Spring project. Okay, what is the Spring MVC flow? Uh, spring MVC flow. Yeah, do you know? Um, yeah, 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 I know MVC flow. Um, when a request came firstly, the um, request is received by the dispatcher servlet, and uh, dispatcher servlet will the take a take a help help up the from help up or uh, handler mapping. And get now get now the controller class name and associated with the given request. Uh, so uh, request transfer that to controller. Then controller will give the process of request by the uh, executing the appropriate methods and uh, it uh, returns to the model and via objective. Okay, and uh, it will be uh, returns to the uh, model and via objective to uh, dispatch a servlet. Now dis dispatch a servlet, send the model object to the view resolver uh, to get actual view of the page. Finally, uh, dispatch a servlet will pass the model object to the view page and uh, to display the results. Okay. Mm. Okay, what is the front controller name of the PC? A uh, friend controller name of the MVC is uh, dispatch a servlet. Dispatch a servlet. Dispatch. Are you sure? Sure. Okay. Um, okay what is hash map and uh, concurrent hash map? Hash map and uh, concurrent hash map. Um, hash map is not thread safe. Uh, and uh, concurrent hash map is uh, thread safe. Um, uh, coming to the hash map, uh, null is not uh, null is allowed to the both and the keys and the values from the uh, hash map. And uh, com coming to the concurrent hash map, uh, null is not allowed to the both keys and the values. Uh, it if it will be uh, allows, it will be otherwise it will get null pointer exceptions. Um, hash map it will be introduced in one point two version, and uh, concurrent hash map is introduced in one point five version. Um, and uh, yeah, okay. Do you know uh, string buffer and a string builder? Uh, string buffer and a string builder, yeah, and uh, the difference is possible. Uh, you can explain, yeah, sure. Uh, spring buffer and string builder. Uh, string buffer is every method inside of the string buffer is a synchronized method. Um, and the string builder is uh, inside of string builder, uh, there is no any method is uh, uh, non uh, no method is a synchronized method uh, in the string builder. And the string buffer is introduced in 1.0 version, and the string builder is introduced in 1.5 version. Um, uh, it will be a uh, thread save, right? It will be uh, only one uh, coming to the string buffer. Uh, it will be thread safe, right? It will be only one thread allowed to the uh, executing to the uh, methods uh, come until uh, keep on waiting for the other thread. It will be thread safe. Uh, disadvantage from the thread safe means it will be taking time, uh, taking time, waiting, waiting for the time. Uh, coming to the spring uh, string uh, string builder, it will be uh, non 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 um, It will be no method is uh, instead of the string builder is synchronized, right? It will be uh, not thread safe uh, because of multiple thread, it can be operating on to the same objective. It can it because of it it, it is a not thread safe from that uh, string builder. The string buffer is thread safe. Okay, what is the difference between get and load? Uh, get and load from the hibernate, right? Yes, yes. 
yes i have it uh, get and load um, uh, it always uh, git uh, git is always hit, hit the database and uh, load is uh, it does not hit the database um, and get is uh, it returns to the uh, real objective and uh, load is it, it returns to the uh, proxy objective okay okay uh, and uh, one more point uh, get if um, If uh, it does not have get any objective, uh, any objective of the ID, it returns to the null. And uh, coming to the load, uh, it will be uh, it will be not uh, it, it will be reading from that uh, record. It will be not there. Uh, it will be get uh, object to not found exceptions. It will be throws object to not found exception. Okay. That these are the main uh, differences from that uh, get and load. Okay, are you fine in timing flexibility? Yeah, fine. Okay, you are uh, fine to work from home and uh, work from office? Yeah, work from home. Okay, so you have internet facility, no issues from the network side? Yeah, 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 comfortable. Yes, everything. You have network? Yes, fine, yes, right? yes, fine, fine. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, then, uh, okay, I'm done with my interview. Okay. Do you have any questions for mine? Uh, nothing, nothing from my side, uh, Sandesh. Okay, so, so okay, I am fine uh, with interview, so HR will get back to you uh, with feedback. Okay, sure. thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the uh, interview. Thank you, bye. Have a nice day, Sandesh.